No okay, one, two, three. No, no limits. Limitless potential. That's all we see. It may be just another motivational slogan, but when your eyes don't see and all around you people underestimate your potential, it hits home. Everybody has limits, but when you have a disability, people often decide your limits for you, and often they're wrong. Am I blocking you, Virginia? The biggest disability that you can give to these youth is telling them that they can't. Are we smiling? Clement Chow is one of nine blind or partially sighted youth who's about to prove can't isn't in his vocabulary. For four months, he's been training to do the grouse grind. For me, as a kid, when I was in high school, I remember that physical, ed physical education was not one of the classes I was allowed to take because precisely of that fact, that they were afraid that, uh, that you know, they, they weren't sure where the limits were and they, they were afraid that I would hurt somebody or somebody would hurt me. And sometimes it's not just other people, you have to prove something too. And I think this is a great way for me to even show myself that, you know what, I can do these things. It doesn't matter whether I can see, it just matter, matters if we can adapt it. When your vision is limited or you have none at all, adapting becomes a way of life. On the grind, every step is different. There are obstacles everywhere. Yeah, at least we're not tired yet. But when you make it, when you prove you can do it, there's no better feeling. The difficult part was just keeping the pace and making it to the top. My time was 144. And as the last of the group arrives, it's a step that crushes yet another limitation. I really hope that this does kind of spread that awareness, the fact that, you know, um, assumptions should never be made before a chance is given. Deborah Goble, CBC News, North Vancouver. <laughs>